I want to always go to high caliber events, right? Other ones that really kind of inspire me. And one high caliber event here that I want to show you is Marie Davidson playing at, and again, I've not been told to promote this, so don't get any feelings. I'm just showing you something that I want to go to. Um, this is Marie Davidson at, for a night called Snack Crapper and Pop. Another really good, you know, um, London club night. They used to do them, I forgot what they used to do in Pacific. It might have been the, um, oh, I forgot what that place is called, man. One of these is Alibi that closed now downstairs. This used some nights there, some anyway, but they're really well known promoters in London that put on really great nights. Uh, Snack Capital Pop uh, co promote well, promoters, I think she's on tour anyway, but they help her to put on a show with uh, Marie Davidson and Richard Fearless playing a DJ set. It's gonna, it's a good one too because it starts at half seven, um, ends at half eleven. So for the people that don't actually, because you know, there's a bit of a weird culture change in terms of the going out crowd. I think most of the caters I used to go out with back in the day don't really exist anymore. I bumped into a couple the other day, right? I bumped into a couple on Dawson when I was coming back from, um, what was I going to? I think I went to a club. I forgot where I went to, but um, a few weeks ago, I bumped into a couple, couple that I used to be friends, that I used to hang out with these few friends, right? Um, but they don't really exist anymore. Everyone's kind of on the wellness tip. Everyone's kind of like trying to, you know, get their career into check because you know, for the most part, we're all kind of around the ages between 26 and maybe 35 right this is the age where you have to kind of get your shit into order you can't really be you know faffing around anymore so um these sort of like evening to like you know midnight events are quite popular nowadays because they still allow you to get the night train home uh 24 hour uh buses and uber home so it's not going to cost you that much compared to like the peak peak hours so it's still quite a good time to go and of course hackney wick wallace road that whole area you know about that life all the time you know create uh brewery uh white post uh pick up natalia and um <laughs> and Vlad there as well doing the damn thing but yeah I'm about all these places so I'm, I'm you know I'm plugged in I love it so uh, Saka and Popper doing a night with Murray Davidson of course I did work um, it's going to be from in 7.30 to in half 11 um, Murray, says, yeah, Murray Davidson live says twist and turn very delicious um, haughty sing-alongs extended ravey runs her presence and attitude are electric see for yourself right and she's kind of an amazing woman like does amazing kind of live performances I'm going to show you a little video actually that I actually found um, I think it was a kind of like a boiler room thing was that boiler room? I think it might be a boiler room or Red Bull music. If I could find it, I'll we'll just show you a little bit of it. Hoping they don't take me down for it. But she's amazing. She's really cool live. And again, and these are shows I'm going to go to more often because I think it's better than kind of wasting your time, wasting my time, right? Going to other kind of like shittier events, personally, in my opinion. But let's see if this works out. Let me see if I can find a Marie Davidson. Uh, work. Uh, is it Red Bull? I think it's Red Bull. Red Bull. Let me see if I can find it. She's, she's doing like a live little intro set with some people. Yeah, so this is her, right? I'm going to play it for you now so you can hopefully hear it. Let's see if I can. I've got to change the sound on here a little bit. These are all things I can see. I'm rusty. I haven't done a podcast in ages, so I've not got everything in place where it should be. But I'm going to get this in place now. Get the sound on there. Multiple output device. Hold on. Let me get that sound again. Da, 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 da. There we go. Boom. Let's get it on here. Where is she? There. Let's play it now. So if you're able to hear it, if you listen to via podcast app, this is this is a video from Rebel Music, right? So um, I'll just pause it. It's called Marie Davidson on live performance, right? And it's just kind of going through the whole, you know, Red Bull Music Academy. I think it's been defunct now, right? So it's been paused indefinitely. I'm not too sure what the vibe is, but uh, Red Bull Music Academy is, you know, a place where a lot of people have basically got their start or were allowed to kind of, you know, have access to some of the, you know, some of the leading figures in electronic music, get mentored, um, loads of good cool discussions and talks, you know, that have been gone down in fucking history are available as well on there. So definitely check it out. But this is a really cool video on her talking about studio science. So imagine seeing this live. And again, this is what you want to see, isn't it? A little bit older. You want to see this kind of vibe. I think so. So yeah, this is what live performance is going to look like, basically. It's her basically surrounded by a ton of instruments, singing on a microphone as well. It's flipping insane. I'm going to forward a little bit here. Hope I can see it. Yeah. individual players get their own effect here? I think it's wonderful for me because it's so easy to... Um, program electron seems very complicated i'm not the kind of person who reads a manual so if you're an inst intuitive player i really recommend it what i like to do when i compose my albums i like to um, start with this one i will use a uh, percussion from this one and i always double with a 707 so i bought the same i bought the sampler to reload all my 707 drums because what I use in my music is most of the time in my dance music, it's 
uh, percussions from the Electribe 2 combined with uh, 707 because I like the I like the warmth in this. You know, it's also interesting as well listening to Ripple talk and Rebel music. It's just so interesting how much it's like i see a lot happening with um people like a brendan show who people like to hate on a lot especially if it's food truck diaries it's interesting how much comfortable how more comfortable uh an artist a creative an entertainer sports person athlete whatever they may be are when they're talking to somebody that's within their field right a peer group person somebody that's doing the thing that they're doing maybe at a lower level coming up it's so interesting like there's such a relaxed nature about it but the moment they go speak to a journalist uh, you know a, an opinion maker whoever whoever that person is they kind of close up and they're a little bit more guarded and a bit more like aloof and maybe quote-unquote weird so quote-unquote rude um and it makes me think like i wonder why there aren't more people but i guess it's the fact that if you're a practice for instance if i'm a practitioner which i am the last thing i want to do is be asking um mary davidson questions about how to make it right i want to be actually making it myself right i don't want to be wasting time trying to figure out how to do it when you know, I, you know what i mean you kind of want to you want to do shit right you want to be in, a, in a, on the field as well so i guess that's why you don't get a lot of practitioners now becoming maybe interviewees or heading up their own online publications or video series but you always get a feeling whenever like you know, look how relaxed she is come talking to people talking to a whole class of quote-unquote students who want to learn from her want to also aspire to be on her level or surpass it or do something within that kind of music field like she feels comfortable because she wants to enable them and help them get as far as they can get to because she knows how hard the grind has been right like she can appreciate um their position that they're in because she's been there too but the moment it's a journalist the moment it's someone from resident advisor critiquing the hi-hat you did or the chorus whatever suddenly goes and you close down in it um let me find a bit where she's singing a little bit and then I'll, I'll and then we'll kind of move on it's a really cool bit where she starts like singing basically a little bit on the thing where is it uh is it here maybe it's here click two try boom and it's nice to oh. on tour, where is it yes uh and I think the Asian dude is a really big producer too, right? In the back, I think so. Let's see. Here. here she is. Watch. This one, I'm going to see her live. So definitely come if you're around. Wallace Road, Snack Up from Pop for Marie Davidson, which is this one there. Friday, 9th of, of August. This Friday at Studio 9294. Here it is. Let's see. So I can find it. Okay. Yeah. You hear? She's amazing, eh? Right. Amazing. Anyway, that you get a point of it. <laughs> wow. Okay, there we go. You get a point. Um, again, Wallace Road, 9th of August. Um, it's the seven thirty to half eleven. You're gonna see me at the front, skanking, hands in the air, going absolutely nuts to see Marie.